Some of you may recall a video I did a little over four years ago wherein I show the scriptural and historic proof that the mortal wound that was administered to the Pope back in 1798 in the exact year that the prophet Daniel predicted was finally healed. That literally confirmed what obedient students of prophecy have been declaring regarding the wound being healed many years prior that I actually listed on my main site. And now we see CNN, a news network known for their fake news, has decided to create a docu-series about the Pope being the most powerful man in the world, wherein the Pope is declared a man of his own word instead of God's word, just as Jesus predicted he would do in John chapter 5, verse 43. And CNN did this just to bolster their network ratings, while at the same time confirm what we stated years ago, that the mortal wound is clearly healed. And when you get time, you seriously need to check out the trailer they just released for that docuseries glorifying the Pope as another God on Earth on Pastor Craig's YouTube channel. So, how did it get so bad wherein a man drenched in sin and criminal acts is declared a global moral leader? How was the Pope of Rome able to get his wound healed so quickly? It was all thanks to the many false prophets most people think are their pastors today. They refuse to speak about the Pope in Rome because on one hand, they fear losing their tax-free status, and on the other hand, they can't sufficiently preach or even teach the prophecies because you can only understand them when you're obedient to the God that wrote them. Worse yet, when the Lord moved upon a people in the prophesied ninth hour described in Matthew chapter 20, who then go forth in obedience in the early 1800s and actually expose the popes of Rome for decades, just as 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 prophesied they would do, so as to alert everyone on earth today who the man of sin is, well, this ninth hour church was also prophesied to do as the Jews of old did, and they walked away from their God. They too fell into apostasy and literally joined hands with Rome to the point of documenting their agreements on paper. These men in the ninth hour or Seventh-day Adventist churches, most know them today, were called of God to declare present truth so as to ready the people for the coming of the Lord. But they not only refuse to do their ordained duty, they openly honor, promote, and protect the popes of Rome by declaring he is no longer as prophecy says he is. And if that's not bad enough, they even created an image of the beast in Rome, just as the Lord prophesied they would do so as to further lock down their state of defiance against the Lord their God. In fact, they are right now helping Rome to gain popularity as well as prevent the people still in the Seventh-day Adventist Church from knowing that since the wound was healed, which they never speak of, and the Pope's popularity and power have grown off the chart, they hide from their very own brethren that Sunday laws are just around the corner. I have a video I made back in November of last year wherein the Seventh-day Adventist president, Ted Wilson, stated on camera that Sunday laws are not coming anytime soon, even though we have thousands of articles and videos of church and political leaders pushing for Sunday laws right now. He actually made it a point to stand in front of the camera that day just to make that claim so as to hide what's really happening behind Vatican walls as we speak when it comes to that final prophecy. The SDA leaders, all the Protestant leaders, and every politician known to man are right now doing all they can to puff up the Pope as well as promote religious banter in politics so as to bring about the prophesied religious laws. This is why CNN just announced their new docuseries. It will catapult the Pope of today as a godly man in the eyes of the people that trust their pastors above their own God by making the Popes of old look as evil as they truly are, while at the same time make the current Jesuit Pope look as holy, blessed, and trustworthy as they can, and billions are going to fall for it. And for those confused as to why the Pope needs religious laws in America and then all the other nations of the world so as to enforce their mark, notice how every time the mark of the beast is mentioned in prophecy, the word worship is right there with it. That's no mistake. That, my brothers and sisters, is prophecy being fulfilled right before your eyes. Thank you for watching. God bless.